Hey ladies, it's Shell. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm a natural hairstylist that specializes in helping women grow and maintain their natural hair. So as you guys can see today, we have a client with very thick and coarse hair. Um, she has not had a silk press in a while. So sometimes when these type of clients come in, it's kind of challenging. So I like to just tell them like, you know, your hair may or may not last, but it's good to stretch your hair out so we can see what's going on with your ends and cut as much as we need to. So that's what's going to be going on in this video. I'm actually going to give you guys tips throughout the video. So if you have similar texture to hers, um, I'm going to give you tips on how you can get your silk press to last longer. So if you get silk presses and they never last, the first thing I would tell you to do is to check your at home routine. So if you are the type of person that usually don't keep up with your maintenance in between silk press visits, that is really going to greatly affect how long your silk press lasts most of the time the issue is that the hair is dry the hair is too dry and once it starts to revert it's trying to grasp grasp moisture from the air so that's typically why the hair reverts now i would say keep up with the hydration routine so if you have like low porosity hair i would say sit under a steamer and deep condition twice a month if you have medium to high porosity hair you want to make sure you are deep conditioning twice a month and doing that frequently. So one hydration treatment won't do it. You have to be consistent with it. And then making sure you are not using oils and products that block and clog your follicles or your hair strands. Because it doesn't matter how many hydration treatments you do. If the hydration, if the conditioner can't penetrate, it's not going to do anything for your hair. Moisture in the hair comes from deep conditioning. So you have to have a really good quality deep conditioner that is going to help hydrate your hair over time. All the products that I use will be linked in the description box. So I use the She Nourish shampoo and I use the She Nourish deep conditioner and I set her under the steamer for 10 to 15 minutes. And so a uh, leave-in conditioner and heat protectant is just added moisture to the hair. Most of the moisture that you get is going to come from deep, con deep conditioning. So make sure you are using a quality deep conditioner that's going to soften and hydrate the hair. Another thing is whenever you are getting any style with synthetic hair, like braids or anything, that synthetic hair rubbing up against your natural hair can cause it to dry out and create a lot of split ends. Another thing that I see that causes a lot of split ends is not drying the hair after you do like a wash and go or you're doing a braid out twist out and you air dry instead of sitting under a dryer. That is something that I notice creates a lot of split ends too. So whenever you create a lot of split ends, the hair is more likely to is going to revert because that's dead, dry, and broken hair. Now, disclaimer, me, I always take a picture of the client's hair and we discuss where we are going to cut. I wanted to cut this part out and not show the trim because for some reason, trims trigger a lot of people. And I'm sorry y'all have PTSD from previous stylists. But I always, always, always take a picture and show the client where we should cut. And they tell me if they're comfortable with it or not. So before you run to the comments and, and tell me how much you dislike stylists and we can't be trusted, just know I always discuss it with my client first. Okay? So just hold on before you run to the comments. <laughs> So we are cutting her into like a long bob because her ends, even though you don't see split ends on the camera, her ends were hard to get through. Um, they were very, very dry. So I told her we should cut it to this length and this is going to be easier for her to detangle because if I didn't cut her this short, she would have still had a bunch of split dry ends at the end of her hair. Her silk press would have reverted quick and then she would have still had a hard time detangling her hair, which I feel like defeats the purpose of coming to a stylist. Whenever you come to a stylist, you should be able to style and manage your hair a lot better after you, you know, after you go home. So we are cutting her this cute bob cut 
And I think she was kind of excited to get it this length. Um, I think it turned out really cute. We are going to just, you know, bump the ends a little bit. <laughs> I always tell my clients, like, should we give it a slight bump? Because I don't want to say bump the ends because that makes them feel like I'm going to do what their mom did when they was younger. But I'm just giving her a slight bump at the ends um, instead of just leaving it bone straight like that. And then I am going to just curl her bang area. And this is just going to give the hair a lot of flow and body when we are done. So as you guys can see, her hair turned out shiny, bouncy, flowy. It's really, really pretty. So it's all within the products that you use. So I'll leave my products down below in the description box. A lot of people ask me, how can they purchase? You can purchase by clicking the link in the description box and I'll have everything listed below. So as y'all can see, her hair turned out so, so, so pretty, so, so cute. Be sure to check me out on Instagram. Follow me. My Instagram is Shell Grows Hair. I'm looking forward to helping many other people help them grow and maintain their natural hair this year. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram as well.